I've been making content about AI for a while now. Well, not really making content, but trying things out and sharing the cool stuff online. Not polished content, just raw experiments. But today, something hit differently. ChatGPT just blew my mind. We've known it could generate images using DALI, but let's be real, up until now, it felt like a sidekick. Kind of clunky, hit or miss, nowhere near the artistry of mid-journey or the precision of magnific AI. But now, now everything's changed. ChatGPT can natively create images, and it's shockingly good. We're talking razor-sharp visuals, crazy fast results, beautifully creative output. It's real. It's powerful. It's a little bit terrifying. You've heard it before. Designers are doomed. Photography is dead. Usually sounds like clickbait. But this time, it doesn't. This time, it feels real. All right, in today's video, we're going to see just how far the new ChatGPT4 image generation can go. I've been messing around with it, and now it's time to really put it to the test. We're going to push it, challenge it, and see if it actually lives up to the hype. Uh, is this the beginning of a whole new era? And now let's dive in. So let's start with product photography. I took my cream, which is the Saiful cream, snapped a photo with my phone and brought it into ChatGPT. I wanted a reference image to see exactly how powerful this tool is. Prompt test, I told it. Take the product from the left image and place it into the right image, matching the original photographic style, same lighting, shadows, crisp detail, and set design. Ensure the background and props in the right image stay unchanged for a natural, seamless blend. Add clean on-brand copy in the top right corner. Fresh, soft, everyday care. Use modern, subtle typography in line with Nivea's aesthetic. And it gave me this. Just look at that. Zoom in and check the details. I even test with another product and hear the results. Typically, you need a photographer and a graphic designer for this. But now, a click and a prompt, and you get a final product that's basically good to go. If you're in the creative industry, you know what it takes to move a product from ideation to final stage. But now, with a phone picture and a prompt, you have something ready, or even great, to go. Before moving to the second product, I try to twist. Using the same product image, I asked the AI to imagine it in a summer campaign. Look at the difference. The summer version is set by the sea with shells. Brighter tones and a lighter lid give it a whole new vibe. All right, next up, we're putting the spotlight on a Nescafe container. But instead of just recreating a plain product shot, I wanted to level things up a bit. So I grabbed a cool reference image from Pinterest. It had this super creative vibe like a mini coffee factory scene with tiny people working inside coffee beans. Totally surreal, but super eye-catching. The prompt I used? Insert a Nescafe product into the reference photo, seamlessly blending it into the scene. Create a high-resolution, professional image. Now, check out the result. Honestly, it came out better than the original. In the real photo, one of the corners looked a little off, like it had been patched up in Photoshop, but the AI-generated version smoothed that out and added a sense of depth and realism that just makes it pop. It feels like a legit concept you'd find in a pro campaign, and yeah, the AI did that in just a few minutes. Wild. This yellow chocolate bar right here, what I found out is that the model is really good at taking a reference style and placing your product into that style. You just give it an image of your product and the reference scene you want it to match. For example, I took a photo of this yellow chocolate bar and paired it with a reference image of a yellow studio wall featuring a paper breakthrough effect where hands were holding a can. I asked ChatGPT to replace the can with my chocolate bar, and here's what it came up with. I'm actually quite satisfied with the result. If you look at the text, it's fairly accurate. It's not an exact one-to-one -one match with the original product. Some small details are off. But for a first try, it's pretty impressive. Um, you'll notice throughout this video that the results are usually around 95% there. And speaking of fast, professional quality image generation, I just discovered an amazing new AI tool, and I wanted to show you how I use it for creative visuals, how I'm incorporating AI into my workflows, and give you a few ideas on how you can use it too. The tool is called Google Whisk. It's kind of like mid-journey, but instead of generating from scratch, it blends images together to create something new and unique. 
Let me show you how it works. It's not perfect. It takes a little finessing. But what's great is that after blending, it gives you the exact text prompt it used. That means you can tweak it to fit your needs. We're on Google Labs. They have several AI experiments, but we're going to use Whisk. If I click Try It Now, it takes me to a page where I can start with a subject, a scene, and a style. I usually add two elements. It seems to give more balanced results that way. You can upload a photo of a product or object you want to work with, and then blend it with a reference image that represents the visual style you're going for, like a background, lighting effect, or mood. Once you upload your inputs, Whisk blends them and generates a new image. It also shows you the prompt it used, so you can refine the details, like changing the background color, adjusting lighting, or simplifying the scene. Uh, if you don't like the result, just edit the prompt or swap one of the inputs and regenerate. When you're happy with the result, you can download the image and use it for proposals, mockups, or concept visualization. One way I've been using this is to create unique visuals for client projects. It's a great way to communicate ideas before a real shoot or design phase. It's also helpful for brainstorming or testing out concepts quickly without having to build full scenes or setups. I know some people worry AI might replace creative professionals, but we're not there yet. This is just a tool and a really helpful one that we can use to enhance our process. Now let's dive deeper with a few more insights and live examples. First, imagine you're launching a new product line, say a line of eco-friendly water bottles. Instead of spending hours setting up a shoot, you can quickly snap a raw PNG of your bottle, upload it to Whisk, and blend it with a sleek retail environment reference. Within seconds, you'll have a polished mock-up showing your bottle sitting on a minimalist countertop with soft, natural lighting. This isn't just cliche. It's proof that AI can accelerate your ideation phase and let you explore dozens of color schemes or settings at lightning speed. Next, consider seasonal campaigns. For the holidays, you could pair your product PNG with festive backgrounds, sparkling lights, pine branches, or wintry textures without manually cutting and masking every detail. Whisk handles the compositing for you, and you retain full control by tweaking the prompt. Want the scene warmer? Just add soft candlelight glow. Need more contrast? Edit the prompt to emphasize crisp shadows. The tool adapts immediately. Another powerful use case is batch processing. Let's say you have 10 variations of a gadget you want to display on different color blocks. Instead of editing them one by one in Photoshop, you can prepare a simple CSV of PNG URLs and desired background styles, feed them to Whisk's API or automation, and download all results in minutes. This frees you to focus on strategy, like which image resonates best with your audience, rather than pixel peeping each detail. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.